Hey guys, Glamoury Glamoury Online. How are you? Hope you're having a great weekend. Um, today's episode is affiliate marketing for beginners. This is going to be a complete tutorial for 2020. Okay, guys, this is just this is I'm just going to walk you through the basic and do it really quickly. Um, I think you just have to understand the whole concept of it because I still get a lot of messages from people that just don't quite understand what they're doing. So if you like videos about how to make money online, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, and let's just walk through exactly how the process works, what you need, how you're going to have success for it. Because there's so much, it's you can do so much with affiliate marketing, um, but the problem is so many people just don't get it. They don't understand the, the big picture and what needs to happen. So let's get started. So the first thing you need is um, two things. You will need a blog and a YouTube channel. I think in 2020, if you don't have a blog and a YouTube channel, you're gonna have a hard time. Although you can do it without a YouTube channel, I highly recommend getting a YouTube channel. Even if it's for doing over the shoulder um, teaching, because you're going to want to train, you, you, you're you going to want to teach and talk about what you do uh, when you go forward. You're also, you know, like let's say you're going to go into you're going to review shoes. Well, you want to shoot over, you can shoot over your shoulder as you're talking about your reviews, right? And then in your blog, you place it on your blog and then that's how people are going to see your stuff. So the two things you need are a blog and a YouTube video or a YouTube channel. So I put a link to the hosting. You get a great, super great deal there. If you want to get it, I use the Swift at A2. I find it the fastest is the most mobile responsive. It's one click WordPress uh, installation for your blog. Super simple. Um, easy to use. And if you have any questions on themes that I use, I'll just send it over to you. Um, so YouTube, I find is actually easier because people have a hard time writing, but actually you get way more clicks from, um, you'll sell way more on your actual blog because people, people are, are, are watching the, they're watching YouTube. They're, they're watching, like you're watching this now, right? you're probably going to go click a link below and it's going to take you to some web page where you're going to learn more. I'm either going to send you to a really good sales page, if I think it's a good sales page of an affiliate program, or you're going to click to a, uh, I'll probably send you to a blog post talking about what I'm doing in YouTube, right? So for example, again, going back, if you were doing shoes, so, hey guys, you know, check out, like, I just want to go through these images. These are the five shoes or running shoes or whatever shoes you're talking about. If you're, if something's on juice, but what you really want to do is you want to click the link below and go read exactly about each shoe. And there you'll be able to click and, and purchase if you're interested, right? So you always want to have a call to action. Um, so the second thing that you absolutely need, need to do is pick a niche or a topic that you're really interested in, in, that you're going to want to create content because the goal, you need to wrap your head around. You need to create content. You can't just throw a link out there with no context. You won't be successful. Like there's no context. Why would anyone want to click your link and buy something for you from you if you haven't provided any value? You haven't provided a reason that they should trust your judgment or trust your opinion. So you have to create content. You have to create value, right? That's why you need a blog and a YouTube channel. You need to start creating content. And guys, your first checks are probably going to be small. That's reality. Uh, but the sky's the limit. Like you can create a massive amount of wealth, right? And let's get into, I'm going to get into um, some stuff at the end too, that's going to really help you. So make sure you stick around to the end. Um, so you pick an niche or a topic. So there's, there's a couple different types of affiliate programs, right? There's, there's, there's kind of two or three kinds. If you go, yeah, there's three kinds, but I'd like to talk about two because the third kind, this is for beginners and you that's advanced. So there's low cost, all right. Um, so sorry, there's high ticket, low volume. So this is selling something big. This is selling like um, big training programs or something. Maybe you, you've teamed up with a with a coach that sells a six thousand um, dollar training program. Right. And you make three thousand dollars. Maybe you make 50 percent or make 40 percent or something like that. Right. You, they sell these big training programs or a ten thousand dollar thing or something like that. That's a high ticket, um, low volume. So what do you, what's it going to take to get there? Well, you're going to have to become an authority so that when people want to go buy that, they're going to trust your judgment and they're going to go, yeah, I'm going to buy that because Glenn recommended it. Right? So that's kind of the high ticket, um, low volume thing, 
or there's a low cost, high volume, right? So this is like whatever's trending on Amazon, right? You go, you find what's trending on Amazon, you go write up a really good blog post about it, why it's so, ex why this thing is so exciting and why you need one and lots of pictures and reviews and you like, you, 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 you basically write the crap out of it and make it so every search engine finds it. You put videos up, you, you point your social media at it, right? And you, you, you get a ton of volume and you sell lots of a thing that has a small cost usually it's one off so you don't have any residual income so but that's doable too there's um the third kind is well there's also i guess there's there's high ticket high volume um that's in the credit cards gambling um what else is up there legal uh services i think that that kind of stuff like that's but you got to have, because that's like, that's, that's really trust-based stuff that you need, you need to have a really solid reputation and then you're going to be able to refer that. So you start small and you can build up to those really great things. Right? Um, actually, I, that, at the end, I'm going to tell you a little shortcut, how to sell high ticket things without having a whole bunch of volume, like without having spend a lot of time. That'll be at the end. Um, okay. So my favorite is actually a blend of a low ticket entry and i like to deal in digital products because they're delivered instantly and people shopping online like i even i have a hard time when i buy something on amazon i want it i'm glad they deliver one day or two days because i want it it's like i when i go shopping i want that thing right that i just paid money for so in digital products you pay for something and you get it right away you can jump into it, you're like yes yeah. so i like to to promote a digital product that has a sort of a, a medium low priced front end like maybe it's anywhere from 10 to $99 or $50 kind of thing. Or, you know, usually they're like $17, $27, $49, you know, $79 kind of thing. Something like that, some information, maybe it's a training, maybe it's a, um, you attend a webinar or uh, maybe it's, a, it's a, a software package that helps you do certain things, right? So I like those. But what I like about them is that usually they, they come with an, uh, with an OTO, we call it, which is a one-time offer. And that one time offer usually bumps the order up. So you'll give them, so they, they present something and then they say, well, you can add, you can add this to it and it's going to be even better. And it's got that cost. And then you, a lot of times they put into a recurring and subscription based so you can get ongoing updates and all this stuff. And that's the kind of thing you want to be in, or you sell a software that people are going to use in their business, right? over and over and over and over and over. So, so maybe it's something that posts to their social media all the time, or maybe it's, it's a, uh, it's a landing page builder, or maybe it's hosting, or maybe it's an autoresponder, or, or it could be numerous things, right? That, that they're going to pay a subscription on. And from that subscription, you earn a, an affiliate program of affiliate income, every single month. Those are my favorites. I'll put some examples below. Um, now what you need to do next is you have to start creating content. Now here's, this is the biggest puzzle piece that keep, oh, drives me crazy. You do not describe the product. Do not subscribe, do not describe the product. You explain the solution that what they're going to buy is going to bring them. Remember that, write it down somewhere. You need to provide the solution, right? So, you know, say you're in a, in a home garden, right? Or whatever, right? And you're, you're selling, I don't know, you're selling slug bait or hoses or something. You're not going to go, this slug bait has uh, blah, 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 and blah, 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 and blah, 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 and blah, 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 right? No, you want to sell. Um, you are never going to have another eaten leaf. You're never going to have whatever those beautiful flowers will never be eaten again. Like you're, 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 you're telling them the problem that this is going to solve, not what is in the product. Right? So you're, you're selling the, you're tell, you're explaining and creating content around the benefit, not around the feature. Right? Okay. That's the benefit, not the feature. You can talk about the feature, but you always want to say the feature leads to the benefit. And it's even better to not even talk about the feature, just talk about the benefit. Um, so that's, that's, so that's, that's basically it. Uh, that's for content. Now, what is the equation, right? You're going, okay, Glenn, I kind of get you. Now, what is the equation? Well, it's basically traffic clicks conversions. That's the bottom line. That's basically how it works, right? You 
drive traffic, right? Um, you can pay for ads. You can do uh, social media. The best ads, though, is to learn how to write a blog using SEO. So SEO, when I started in, on, on the web, like years ago, I, I had a, uh, a web company um, designing websites and stuff like that. We had to code it all ourselves. And, I, you know, I, I we coded it all ourselves. We had to build all this stuff. And then the SEO was like this huge mystery. Guys, there's so many, like WordPress has come so long, so far. Like we've, we've got plugins that basically you can, as you're writing your, your article, you can be using an SEO uh, thing that's telling you how much better, you know, like you want to rank for a certain word, you know, let's go to um, get rid of slugs, right? Someone is going to go online and go, ah, get rid of slugs, right? And you're going to put that into this rank stuff in your WordPress. It's I use something called a rank math. Uh, I can put a link for it below or you can just Google it. So, so basically you put in, you know, um, get rid of slugs. And then as you're writing your article, it's going to tell you everything you need to do in order to SEO your page so that it ranks for that word. Pretty simple, pretty awesome. All right, so you you can start so the traffic. You can send ads to it. You can use social media, uh, or you can SEO. Now the clicks, right? So what you need is you need a clear call to action. <clears throat> Don't write an article without any sort of call to action or telling someone to do something. People be, need to be prompted. Hey, by the way, go subscribe. Subscribe to my channel right now. Subscribe. Hit subscribe. People need to be told what to do don't assume that they know what to do so so as you're doing your content click here to get whatever you're selling don't be spammy don't put links in like inconspicuous links in the in the, the text and stuff like that no go and make uh, make make a call to action say go here to get this go here to get your solution go here to get your solution right and then you want to make sure you're sending them to a sales page that is converting, that looks professional, that, that you, you look at and you go, yeah, I would buy this, right? Like, like you use your common sense and just like, like, yeah, I would buy this, right? So that's basically it. You know, you want to make sure, um, check out what you're promoting, make sure that this thing sells, right? You know, you want to make sure that whatever you're going to promote is selling. So that, that's affiliate marketing in a nutshell, guys. So that, that's it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some links below of some of my favorite ones that I like. Go through them. You can go through the whole sort of funnel. These are in the make money online niche. So these are basically trainings on how to make money and they're subscription based and they're actually affiliate programs where the people can join and then promote them to other marketers to learn how to market better um, and, and make money from it. Right. And it's very, very good money. Now, from there, once you get these sort of programs going and you start getting some recurring revenue coming in, you can really start as your blog de starts to de develop, maybe you've, you started in one sort of topic and you're kind of, you're kind of shifting to this other topic. You can go find other affiliate programs to market with that. Another, okay. So here's my bonus at the end. Another one that I love is local businesses. There's like 23 million small businesses in America that <sighs> so many of them, like they don't have time to, to worry about getting a website and SEO and social media and, and AdWords and all this kind of stuff, right? Like they need help. Now you can go and, and basically charge them a recurring income. So it's not really affiliate marketing, but it's more residual income to do those things. Now, how are you going to do those things? Like if you're going, I don't know how to do that. You outsource it. You basically do some research, go, okay, this person is going to be doing SEO. This person is going to do, be doing social media. This person is going to build the websites or there's actually, I'll put a link in where there's pre-made websites already. Like guys, there's already companies that do pre-made websites. So you do that and basically, boom, you have a business and you have recurring business and recurring income and the people like the plumbers and the, and the roofers and the, and the and the, whoever, right? The beauty salons or the insurance agents are going, yeah, I don't have to think about that. And they know that you're going to be out there doing very little work really, because all you need to do is monitor the changes and make sure their website is up and going. And, um, 
probably nagging at them once a month saying, hey, can I have another piece of content? Or, hey, I'm going to put another piece of content up on your website. It's, you know, maybe that's part of the recurring, right? You, you charge them $100 a month and you go get an article written for $10 every month and you put it up there, right? So you make $90 a month and you, you host it or something, right? But you're already have your hosting unlimited site. So it's, it's a no brainer. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. Make sure, um, oh, there's one other one. Oh yeah, totally forgot. Pay per call. And I'll put a link to a training that you need to take. Pay per call is very, very cool. Pay per call is where you make these little tiny microsites or little landing pages or do YouTube ads. And you basically, all you need to do is get a phone number in front of someone. And these are what, what's really great. And this is the, the big ticket when I'm talking about. So a lot of people start by, by, you know, towing. So you do, you go get an affiliate link. Um, you go to offer vault and you get a paper call for towing in, in New York, New York state, right? So you build a little microsite and you go towing New York state. You put your phone number up there and you drive traffic to it, whether you're making little YouTube ads or whatever, or you're running Bing ads for Bing ads are so inexpensive and you're driving traffic to it and you get paid every time there's a phone call and you get paid $15, $20, that kind of thing. But there's a high ticket item in there. So, and if you've done any rehab or anything like that, rehab, there's rehab ones that pay like $800 a lead. So you can go and you can make a rehab website or a rehab landing page. Talk about all the pain points about getting uh, what you need to do about rehab. And then basically you send traffic to that. And if someone calls or, or you get a lead from that, right? 800 bucks, guys. That's the ticket. All right. I hope so. Hopefully this is helpful. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell below. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, but grab your hosting, get your blog started. Um, uh, if you make a mistake, guys, start over. No big deal. Get a domain name, right? Like go to, to go to wherever you can actually, I think a two gives you a free domain when you, when you sign up, um, get a domain, get hosting, get started, get blogging, pick a niche, right? Find some affiliate programs, Check out the links below. Um, if you if you don't if you, if you're kind of like still confused, just check out the link below. Join one of those programs. There's a ton of training in there. They can they can take you through. All right, guys. That's it. I'll see you there. Cheers. Bye.